Good getting internet. It is a gloriously beautiful day outside. Yes, there is in fact still some little bit of snow on the ground. But that's fine. It's currently, is it 18 degrees outside? It's really nice. Let me just lock my door really fast. There we go. And let me go switch the camera over to me. Is it just an iPhone thing that lets you just do the tap to swap what camera's active without having to merge videos? Because that'd be really handy. I should see if there's an app that lets me do that on Android. <sighs> so, I have a couple of objectives today. First is to get my phone repaired. So, I decided to go with the expensive option because of the warranty and the fact that they're actually open today. And I kind of need my phone for the rest of this week because I'm on call which means that I could be called any time between 7 at night and 7 in the morning, or any time during this coming weekend. So, that kind of stinks. Uh, but, that's one objective. Another objective is to try to reach Pokestops that I've never hit before, because I have a mission that requires me to hit unique Pokestops. Uh, it's probably not worth doing the mission, to be honest, but, you know, want to do it anyway. So I'm actually tethering at the same time that I'm recording this to my tablet, which is in my backpack, and my um, Pokemon Gocha, which is also in my backpack. Backpack. So it is actually automatically trying to catch Pokemon and hitting Pokestops as I walk. I'll probably pull it out every so often to see if I even have any more Pokeballs left, because oh boy am I going to use a lot. And things along that nature. I am wearing shorts! Shorts. They are easy and comfy to wear. Have to do the Pokemon reference. Uh, let's see, what else? Um, hmm. There's greenery out, but there's not really any leaves on the trees yet, unfortunately. This is a shame. Another few weeks and it will be my favorite time of the year. Um... My shoulder's getting a little tired. I'll stop this for now, and I'll continue randomly as during my walk. I am currently underneath the highway. See? The highway's directly above me. Uh, Madison has a lot of bike paths, which doesn't make sense when you look at what Madison's climate is, but it's really nice for walking or bicycling. And I happen to be walking through one of them as it gets brighter and brighter and brighter. And brighter. You can tell from the color of the lights behind me. And brighter, and brighter, and brighter, and <sighs> day star. See, that's where the bike path continues, or one of the directions. The other one continues down that way. That's not where I'm walking in. See, that's a little tunnel. Um, Now that I've eaten about three meals worth of food at once, uh, I, my appetite finally came back recently, so I, I was really hungry. Uh, I've only had two meals in the past two days, so it's probably a good thing. Anyway, I'm going to continue walking to the repair store, which is on the road that I happen to have been going to eat at. It's almost as though I planned the route in advance. Huh. It's kind of nice here, even though it's a major road. And especially during actual spring when there's actually leaves on trees instead of, well, twigs. Lots of twigs. So this is apparently the World Council of Credit Unions. World Council of Credit Unions in the west side of Madison. Uh, huh. Anybody get the idea that the Credit Union National Association, which that's the logo back in the roughly center of the screen at the moment, might have just a wee bit too much money. They have their own convention center complex. This is all owned by the Credit Union National Association. All of this. I'm just walking here because there's a Pokestop here. <sighs> so, um, not sure what to talk about other than it's an absolutely gorgeous day. You can't really see it very well, but there's a lot of 
just wispy clouds and bright and sunny pretty much perfect temperature for me it's pretty nice definitely a better day than yesterday even though I'm spending way too much money today I uh, just got back from the break I fix um, estimate is still approximately 180 US dollars to fix and they don't have any parts so I get to be called in a couple of days uh, tomorrow is when my case arrives and well hopefully I'll actually get there in time uh, uh, this this coming week is going to be really rough for me, to put it mildly. Uh, lots of work-related things going on, on-call, my schedule's out of whack, trying to make sure that I'm doing laundry fast enough to maintain the fact that I actually have to dress up for work for the next basically three weeks in a row. Oh, air exchanger. Sorry for the noise. Wasn't expecting that there. Especially wasn't expecting it to be on, given that there's nobody here. And here, I was thinking it would just be a quiet environment. Huh. Oh well. Uh, let's see. Ooh, what else? Had a nice slice of key lime pie. Mm, key lime pie. Happens to be my favorite pie. Uh, let's see. There's green stuff on the ground occasionally. Not, not that section. Uh, I'll just move up a little bit until you can see the green stuff. I also have some tulips growing in my backyard at the moment. But see? Green stuff! Green is a color! Never mind the fact that when I left my house there was still snow on the ground in random spots. Okay, apparently each one of these flagpoles has a country on it. Like for instance this one, well it's not a country, Mons Montserrat's an island. And it's kind of mostly uninhabited, given that their capital got wasted by a volcano. Uh, oh well. I assume these are the the flagpoles are labeled based off of the flags that go on said flagpoles. But well, I was here right now because it's Sunday. Yes, believe it or not, I do actually record these on the correct day. I may upload them the day after, but that's because I'm usually editing and. The render process takes so long in Vegas 14 that it just runs overnight, basically, for me. On the plus side, at least Vegas 14 is a lot more, or my computer's a lot more stable rendering with Vegas 14 than it was with uh, OpenShot. <sighs> yep. I'll stop for a little while so I can keep walking. Well, I guess I'm walking through this park. I've never actually been here before. Huh. I'm sure this park would be a lot more beautiful in, you know, not the early part of spring. Technically, we're halfway through spring? No. That'd be another week or two. Anyway. Just walking through a park. Tra-la-la-la-la. Okay. The way the font looks, where it says Garner Park Shelter, I could have swore that said Gamer Park Shelter. Because Gamer Park would be so much more cool. Anyway, this is Gardner Park. These are the fun things you could do, like golf. Or not, because those are actually different golf courses. You can, um, reserve a shelter. Yep. So it's about 40 acres, according to the park history. Apparently it was a part of University of Wisconsin, which is not too surprising given where I'm at at the moment. Unique blend of physical and social landscapes? Uh... Aha! I have found you once again, Winter! And I shall slay you! hee ya! Haha, you are slain. So, this is apparently Gardner Park. Looks like it'd be a nice recreation area. Not enough trees, though. And that walking path over there doesn't seem to be too bad. Beach volleyball court. Gigantic pavilion of doom. I should probably walk over the, at the pavilion. Pavilion. I can speak, I swear. <sighs> Let's go ahead and reverse the camera so you can see me too. So. Uh, oh, wow. There's a lot of standing water on the ground over here. Um... 
And I'm wearing shoes that are not conducive to walking in puddles. You can see standing water by the reflection. <sighs> Let's see, maybe the edges aren't standing as much. Oh, hey, look, it looks like they have fire here. Of course they do. Yeah, I'm not getting over there yet. That's probably about five centimeters deep, and these shoes are porous, thus no. So I will walk outside of the pavilion and try to take you on a delightful journey of, well, at least it's nice outside. Wisconsin. Well, at least it's nice outside today. <sighs> Maybe that should be the title of the vlog. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Varied elevations, though. I do kind of like that. But again, not enough trees. There's some over here, at least. Uh, over there. Uh, yeah, th that way. I can't really see the screen very well, thanks to my sunglasses. But if I take off the sunglasses, I have to squint to see anything at all. Hmm. Huh. So apparently there's multiple floors of the pavilion. Huh, let me switch over to front-facing camera again. Oh, me from the future is going to hate how much I'm switching cameras. Uh, let's see. So that was where I was up before. That's where the giant puddles are. But down here is another area. This is actually kind of a neat design. I approve. Also, I love how the quote-unquote underground area isn't flooded at all. So I can walk here. Wow, short ceiling. I mean, for frame of reference, I'm not exactly tall and I can easily touch the ceiling. Heck, I can actually almost touch the higher up ceiling. Uh, another fire pit. Because, of course, what is it with Wisconsinites and being obsessed over fire, anyway? Uh, more snow! Ha 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 ha! Uh, let's see, there's the soccer slash football field. Porta potty. Yet another pavilion area with actual bathrooms next to it. So wait, why is there both a porta potty and actual bathrooms? They're not closed or anything. And there's not like there's an event going on in here. Yet another fire pit. What is it? I don't understand the obsession over fire. <sighs> So yeah, this is apparently Gardner Park. Hmm. Pretty decent. But only one playground? That makes me sad. Nice tennis courts though, I will agree with that. Maybe I'll go walking along this trail for a bit. Uh, what time is it anyway? 14.34, yeah, let's go walking. Uh, I'm just gonna reverse the camera again. Uh, well, I wonder if I'm going to drop my phone again with all of the holding of the phone upright where it's slightly above my head so I have any chance whatsoever at seeing anything and you have a chance at seeing my face. <sighs> so yeah, I think during summer this would be a lot prettier of a park or even just late spring. Ah, uh, sirens. I can actually hear through these headphones by the way. Um, they were on they were on noise canceling mode now they're on open mic mode which is that i can hear things outside and it's just projected uh, using the noise canceling microphone to repeat it inside of the headphones so if somebody is talking with me if they're behind me i can hear them as though i'm talking directly in front of them which is awesome also i have a volume control And apparently I got an email of some variety. Uh, let's see, where do I want to walk? Uh, hmm. So, um, I thought I would mention that, I don't know if you've noticed, but I've been walking a lot. Uh, the actual amount of elapsed time at this point for my walk has been about three hours. I still have another... <laughs> 45 minutes to an hour minimum walk home at this point. I walk a lot. Uh, 
I know back when I was keeping track of such things, the average number of steps I would take per day without trying to go for a walk like this was about 10 to 12,000. Uh, my normal walking length per day of extracurricular walking, you know, when the weather is actually nice, is about an hour. Uh, well, apparently I'm making up for lost time. My feet are just starting to barely ache and that's about it. I'm pretty good at the whole walking for extended periods of time thing. The downside is that the moment I stop, oh boy am I in pain. I'm going to actually start hobbling when I get back to my house. Also, the reason why I wear this stupid looking hat is to protect my head. Uh, since I'm bald, all the sun goes straight to my scalp, and my doctors had mentioned that they had started seeing signs of bad things happening. So I have to wear stupid looking hats from now on. Since it's not that hot outside, I wear my dark green hat. I also have two white hats. Okay. Hello again. I'm in a dead mall. So, it's in a mall not too far from where I live that I think there's a grand total of three or four stores inside of it. I mean, that used to be a Rocky Rococo's Pizzeria. That's been gone for about a year now, I think. Uh, yeah, there's nothing in the center of the mall. This is the old food court area that I'm walking up to, which not only is there no food court right now, there's not even signs that there used to be a food court outside the Rockies, and the sub shop that's, well, there. Yeah, that sub shop. Otherwise, this is the center of the mall. Notice everything being turned off. I mean, there's still people walking in, it's not closed to the public or anything, but... <sighs> I walk through this mall quite often, especially in winter, because, well, I can. Also, they have lots of ads for the coolest store ever. That is, I can see it's Ravenworks. It is the clothier for the, well, a portion time traveler. Uh, they sell a lot of Ren Faire costumes. They sell, let's see, what else do they have? Um, Various things that you would expect in cosplay for historical time periods. I've always wanted to just walk in, buy a bunch of things, and basically walk up to a D&D game and actually dress in costume. That would be awesome. They're closed at the moment, but that's because they're only open a few days a week. Uh, from what I've read, all of, and this is the library's um, book sale area, they're only open one day every other week. Um, from what I've read, basically all of the stores in this mall, other than the one anchor store left, are on a month-to-month -month lease because the owners don't know when they're going to tear it down or if they can afford to tear it down. Apparently, from what I read, this mall was built like a tank. <sighs> anyway, this has been Aetherspoon with Tales of Dead Malls. Arg, the only Springform pans my grocery store has are too large. All the ones that I was seeing were significantly smaller than 9 inches diameter. <sighs> oh, well. Guess no cheesecake this time. Maybe I'll order something off of Amazon for the pan. Alright, time for a haul video. I've got Del Caddy, I've got some chili, I've got some stove top, apparently chicken tacos, which are totally fajitas. Got some buns so I can make salmon burgers. Got regular fake honey bells, got frumpy fake honey bells, I have a veggie spiral zucchini thingy that's supposed to be pasta substitute, and I've got some turkey tenderloins down there. That's my entire grocery shopping trip. That'll probably last me two weeks. Well, the Del Caddy will last me forever. No, my state doesn't have any problem with drinking. Ah, uh, why must you tempt me? I will not give in to temptation. I will not give in to temptation. Haha! -ha, victory is mine! <laughs> See what I mean? What is the obsession with fire? Don't 
understand. All right, now my feet are frighteningly starting to hurt and it's been about four hours that I've been on my feet. Yeah, hurts a bit. It's not too bad yet, but I know I'm gonna be hobbling when I get home. Hi, it's me from the future. Past me, screw you, my legs hurt a lot. Okay, bye. <sighs> it's sad, I was really hoping to be able to catch some of the urban wildlife that I have in my neighborhood. So yesterday I am pretty sure I spot a, spotted a coyote in my backyard. So yeah, but no signs of it today. Oh well. I mean, you can't see it because of the shadow. My video for doormat. Let's see, do I have a kitty greeting me? Or is he being lazy because it's beautiful outside? He's being lazy because it's beautiful outside, I'm guessing. Or I forgot to bring a kitty out, didn't I? Dang it, me. Oh. What is it with my cats and knowing where the camera is? <sighs> you are breathtakingly handsome as usual, I assume. Handsome. Gorgeous. Just an all round nice kitty cat. Why are you still obsessed over looking at the camera? Be cute to me. I can't see what I'm doing. Nope, he's obsessed with the camera. <sighs> see, if I do it this way, he just blocks the view of me instead. But if I do it that way, he is in. What is your obsession, kitty cat? By the way, the whiteboard up there is intentional. That is not actually a fallen whiteboard. It's only on one screw because it didn't reach the other screw. I needed to put it someplace so the cats would stop knocking over, and well, there it went. There was already the screw in the wall. So I hope you enjoyed my little walking adventure today. Hopefully this won't be evil to edit together. I don't think it will be. <sighs> I am hot and sweaty. You head sweat. Hey, cat. You literally just ran up, uh, walked up and grabbed the entire phone. <sighs> Silly kitty. Right, cat? Stop numbing everything. That's my backpack. No. Right, cat? Just don't look at things. Right, cat? <laughs>